What's good, everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. Been a minute, huh? It's always been a minute. We are probably the laziest YouTubers in terms of making videos that you've ever followed. At least now. I mean, we used to put out videos like, what, once a week? Um, actually, twice a week. And then there was like every day for a month. But whatever. I'm out here in the garden. Uh, we've got, you know, a lot of stuff kind of on fleek. It's doing well. But then we've also got a lot of issues in our garden. With everything that's going on in life, we just... A lot of things just took over. So this back bed here was all weeds. We actually did mulch it to try to prevent weeds. Turns out whatever we mulched it with, which was actually uh, some of this stuff from the, the barn, all the straw and everything, there was a weed growing in the pasture. It was taking over the pasture. That seed had fallen into that stuff. We transferred it from here to there without knowing. And then lo and behold, this whole entire garden was taken over with that weed. You know, because this is this is some super lush, fertile soil. Like a seed hits it, boom. Uh, even all of these areas, you see all this green here? Like this was all mulched with regular mulch. We had cardboard underneath. It literally just took over and exploded in here. But uh, the way that this, this plant worked, this weed worked, is it would drop uh like tons and tons of seeds per plant and took over like multiple uh seedlings so it would i don't actually understand what i just said but i think what i was trying to say is like there's it was like multiple germinations so you'd have uh one growth then would drop seeds and then it would immediately grow with another growth drop seeds and then immediately grow with another growth so you had like three four periods of growth from this one weed and uh, like you thought you took care of it, you pulled it, but the seeds dropped. Then they come up again, you gotta pull it. It was so much work, so labor intensive. But uh, this time around, I've been pretty good. So you can see we got a lot of brown and not a lot of green in between our beds. That's the goal here. That wasn't even the only weed. There were like five other weeds that were just taking over. It became a, a giant zoo in here, but things are better and they're looking up so let me just show you kind of what i've been talking about Let's see what you think so this is this is kind of like a, a mixture we've been mixing so we've got like flowers and then we've got actual plants i think those are the the squash or i don't know melons i don't know what that is my wife plants this i tend it uh over here is the mint which is gonna get chopped soon so that way it doesn't go too much to seed. Over here, we've got tomato and basil with some flowers looking all sexy and stuff. These actually got rotated. So we rotated a lot of stuff from one bed to another bed. These are our peppers. We grew those over here and there last year and they did really well. Uh, but peppers are primarily gonna be right here. Uh, this is hibiscus. We've got two of them in there. Get a little hibiscus tea, I think. Uh, we've got some sunflower volunteers growing, which we're going to keep here because they'll provide some shade for some of our other plants. Everything here is a tall climbing plant. This is where we used to keep our tomatoes. You can see the garlic is in there, and the garlic's actually doing nice, probably almost ready to, to come to harvest. We have some more garlic over here with uh, some more of those like squashy squash plants. But you can see this guy right here, I think. Can you? Are we on camera? Woo. I don't know. This guy right here is the weed I've been talking about. And eventually this grows up and gets real nasty and spreads everywhere with these pink seeds. Drops them everywhere. So I gotta go through and pick them all out before it drops more. Causes me more grief. Uh, some things we're putting this to bed over here uh, so everything's just kind of thrown in it this bed here is actually gonna go to bed we're not gonna use it because there's just too much of that weed in there you can see it's all over the place but this is pretty good because normally it's like overrun the whole thing so we're a little fantastic in here I'm, I'm real happy with that uh, I'm gonna cover this up actually with some landscape fabric just completely black it out no go um once we get through like a month or so 
I'm gonna transfer all that dirt to a different pot, or not pot, bed, uh, so we can fill some of these beds up, and I think we're gonna actually move that. One of the problems we've been having, this is something I can recommend. There's like a gap here, and that gap is just constantly getting weeds, and regardless of mulch that you put in there, system a mess because it's like carry over from the other side who knows lots of ways to deal with it the way i'm going to deal with it is we're just going to move our beds away from the fence so you can see we already moved one it used to be a bed right here hey mr rooster it used to be a bed right here i took that bed out uh put it right there and that'll be a new bed but we won't have to worry about the fence anymore this bed is where we used to put our corn it's this big giant square but again, it's too close to the fence. I can't get in there to, to weed. Things grow along the fence line. And the only real way to do it is to like spray or uh, weed by hand. And none of those are really fun or good. So move it away, mulch heavily, and prevent all that from growing. I, I think that's the, the ultimate plan. Uh, I moved the water jug here to the corner. Courtney's been heavily using it. Normally this is covered. I have to fill it so I uncovered it. But Courtney really enjoys watering with the watering can. It's quiet in the morning and in the afternoon or the evening I mean. Uh, she comes out with a watering can, waters exactly what she needs, puts Dean on her shoulders. It's uh, cathartic. It's her moment of zen makes her happy, so that's what we're doing. We used to come out with like a, a spray nozzle and a hose. It wasn't ideal. I don't blame her, so it is what it is. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, let's go over to the brambles. Uh, we've been removing trees that are dead. We have a bunch of trees that fell that were dead. So this whole area here is nice and wide open. I think what we're gonna end up doing in that area is maybe planting some fruit trees. I gotta, I gotta figure out, cause I don't know, I don't know how much sun they, they don't get any morning sun. They only get like afternoon sun. So what I've been doing is looking at my watch, looking at the time of day that they get sun for the first time to see, is it gonna be viable? Otherwise, I think fruit trees are gonna go down there where it's all sunny by the, the chicken coop. Uh, we could do like three or four peach trees maybe, but these are our brambles. This is all blackberry, thornless blackberry, and they're, they're beautiful. Oh gosh, everything's looking mighty good. Let's look to see what berries we got coming. That's a good berry, and I just wrap it around as it goes uh forgot to cut some of this wooded stuff so this is going to get out of hand might cut it right here so we don't get too long anyone else grow berries like this or bramble patch uh i'm not real good at cutting the wooded stuff off i always forget i don't even know if it matters generally they just blow up regardless uh it's getting to a point where i'm gonna have to uh cover them all from the birds i got my steaks ready to go right there this is hard to do on my phone uh i gotta pull whoo, i gotta pull the braces back because they're real nice and loose but i've been trying to clear this this was like a i don't know a holly tree that was blocking the garden that we had to cut down we cut it down three times it just keeps coming back um so i'm gonna kind of get rid of some of this stuff not rid but transfer it somewhere else and try to keep continuing these brambles on over so i can actually kind of put those back in the ground and if you look nice straight line cut right there and we'll just bring another brace over here so we'll just come the whole way down bang and we've got a nice nice line of brambles right there the what's cool about this little spot here as long as i get some mulch in there at the base is the water you know, it drains down this way, goes right into the garden and right into the, the brambles. The brambles kind of help to give me a buffer so we don't get too much runoff in here. 
because we do get quite a bit of runoff in here to the point where like this side of the greenhouse here gets a little funky. Like I can't, I have to dig it out on the side every year. It's really a poor decision. I should have put the greenhouse along this fence line here, the long way, actually the other side. So that way we, we had sun the whole time, but I was worried about tree branches falling on the greenhouse, which is funny because uh, one of these trees, I think one of these two actually fell. No, might've been a tree back there. Did one of these big ones fall and I actually did hit the fence. Uh, I'll show you. Look at that. Crushed the fence right here. But uh, oddly enough, it only put that little hole in the uh, plastic and scratched up a little bit up there. So in case you were wondering like how durable this uh, hog panel greenhouse is, well, I built it pretty badass. That's, that's what I would tell you. I'm a badass builder. Woo! All right, well, that's my check-in after like a year. <laughs> uh, I think this, no, we might've made one other one, right? But I'm gonna try and keep it going. Oh, I do have one more thing. Uh, a lot of people a long time ago were like doubting my, my skills uh, in building the uh, chicken coop. Um, I had a lot of people tell me that my roof here wasn't going to hold up and uh, the loads were going to be no good because I was using two by fours instead of two by sixes on the rafters. Um, you were wrong. I just want you to know that. It's been like five years and everything's great. I've got no issues. The one issue I do have is, uh, so since they cut all the woods down back there, I don't know, can't even see it because it's all overgrown now, but uh, that, yeah, there's so much overgrown you can't see it, but now there's a giant Amazon warehouse facility back there. All those predator animals that had food were over there. They made their way over here. And then we started having issues with uh, flyovers and climbovers. So as you can see, they go up and over. So now I have to enclose all that on the top. Probably should have done it a long time ago. Uh, I just want to, I was more like a wait and see kind of guy, but I guess I can't wait and see anymore. So I'm going to enclose all that. That'll be coming up. I'll make sure to film it and get it out to y'all. So you have something from us. Courtney's been making reels and they're real cool, I guess. Uh, so good for her. If you haven't catch those reels, catch them. Otherwise I will see you on the next one. Have a great day, folks.